Okay everyone, uh, Danny AR10 here, and as promised, here's my prototype review uh, for the Xbox 360. And uh, I want to get this thing going. Uh, I picked it up yesterday afternoon, told you guys, uh, I put up a first impression, and been playing it all last night and all day today. Still not done yet, but I'm about 20% into the city, being infected, I've got a lot of powers which you guys didn't see yesterday. So let's get this going with a bang. Start this off. Gameplay. Uh, well, let's start off with what I said yesterday. Uh, my first impressions were yesterday that the game was a lot like Infamous, uh, where it's an open world game. Uh, you have freedom to go wherever you want, do whatever you want. And it really is a lot like Infamous, except that it's way more action. Um, the game itself. Uh, it plays similar to Infamous in the way that you c the character kind of gravitates a lot towards uh, items uh, or objects in general. So you guys will see as I run through the city, he's going to start gravitating towards objects and jumping over everything. Going on walls, climbing up walls, get to the top of a wall, kind of take off and just glide. And it's great. The combat is great. The moves look great. And the graphics are actually surprisingly very good. I don't know what a lot of the reviews were saying. Uh, but if you guys saw the, the GameSpot review that just came out, that's more dead on point. It's an 8.5. And I predicted that before it even came up. I told you guys this game was way better than what IGN had gave it uh, 7.5. Uh, so let's get started. I'm not going to spoil it for a lot of you guys. There might be some small spoilers, but uh, I just want to put that warning out there. Uh, you basically play as a guy named Alex Mercer. He's awakened in a morgue, um, and he doesn't really know what happened to him. Uh, he comes back from the dead. He has these powers, and he's trying to really put picture and put together what kind of happened to him. Um, you go around the city looking for clues. Uh, you kind of consume people, and they kind of give you a little backstory as to what they know. It's kind of like looking into their minds, sort of like in Infamous, where you kind of grab somebody and he kind of sees what what they've seen. It's sort of the same situation. This is a perfect example. I'm going to show you guys right now. That flashing little orange uh, icon It's one of the guys in the city who's has some information that you might need to know. So here's what you do to him. I'm going to do a stealth absorb on him. So I don't get really noticeable by the people surrounding me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak up behind him. Well, not really a sneak anymore. But I'm going to come up behind him and just absorb him. Now I'm him. You get a flashback of some of the things that he has seen or has heard uh, with what's going on in the city. And this isn't too much of a spoiler because you guys can't really hear. You guys can just kind of see. Uh, but the gameplay and the story are both great. I mean, the story itself, it's been a pattern lately. I mean, Infamous had a great story as well. Uh, a lot of these open world games, kind of like Grand Theft Auto, are giving surprisingly good stories. Uh, this has captured me. I mean, I really want to find out what happened to this guy. And you puzzle it together throughout the game. Um, you unlock a lot of powers. I'm going to jump right into some of the powers that you obtain. And it's really a great system to have in store. You hold LB and it brings up this menu. They're all categorized. You have your uh, basic offensive uh, powers. And they all can be set uh, to quick hotkeys on your D-pad. Depending on which one you select. So let's start off with the claws. This basically gives Alex these claws that you absorbed from a creature you defeated. And let me give you a quick example of what these things do. I mean, this game is very gory. So you have kids who really don't want to be around this type of thing. Let me just show you what this guy can do. I mean, he's gonna go up to this lady, slash her apart, and look at her body, it's just totally into shreds. Uh, I got cops on me now, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of action as to what Alex can do. So these, you start being chased by these uh, tanks, so I'm gonna go try to take it down with this claw move that he has. Kinda digs it into the ground, erupts this huge claw from the ground that just kind of destroys anything in its path. You guys take a look at it. It's just awesome the things he can do. Uh, these claw slashing, he can sprint, he can slash on the go. He can basically uh, do so much with these little claws. I mean, 
they're my favorite weapon because they kind of slash people up and I like all the gore. Uh, and he has the other powers. He has this hammer fist. This hammer fist is basically used to destroy the tanks themselves. It's really like a clobbering power. He can just slash and pounce and I mean really what you can do is I'll take a look this truck here how quick you can dismantle of it. I love the effect it gives you when it kind of goes into slow motion when he's uh, performing these lock-on moves. I want to give you guys another look at Whip Fist. This is kind of a long-range uh, power. What this does is kind of gravitates long distance. He can kind of stretch out his arm. I'm going to aim at something in the distance. See if I can go ahead and pick it off. Like, yeah, there you go. That Carl at the end. Kind of stretches out. Kind of like a bionic arm. We can whip people around. I've kind of upgraded all his moves. I'm at the fastest of the speeds and the highest of the jumps. So when I'm running, I want to jump up. You have this glide power where you can just hover over the whole city. And it's kind of reminds me of those uh, people that do skydiving with those suits that kind of let you look like a flying squirrel. It's sort of what it is, what it feels like. And he can scale any building. You can jump off these buildings. And then take flight. It's just crazy the amount of freedom you have in this game. Um, I want to show you guys some of the other moves actually he has as well. He has uh, some defensive moves and you can kind of combine them. Find which way is the best one you like. The best combination of defense, offense. Uh, for defense right now I only really have the shield. Uh, which is a great weapon because if you're in the midst of a firefight from the army you can just kind of sprint and he puts his shield up in front of him. He just kind of knocks everything out of his way. You guys can see he'll just run through cars, gates, he'll flip cars out of the way, people, anyone. Anyone in his way gets knocked out, and he absorbs a lot of damage from bullets. Uh, and I use that in combination with uh, the claws most of the time. And then you have the ability to transform into other people. Once you absorb something, I'm going to show you guys how you, what you can do. You can go up to any random person, grab them with B, hold them in the air. You can either throw them... Throw them <laughs> Or you can grab somebody and absorb them. So I have this guy here. I'm going to hit Y. Kind of disembody him. And then using left D-pad, you can transform into him. And you can do that. Each kind of move is different for which uh, power you have selected. So if I had the claws, I'll show you guys what he does with the claws out. And then he absorbs the guy's body. And then you can transform right into them. And you can pick up cars, hurl them at other cars. I mean, it's crazy the amount of things you can do. You can grab somebody on the run, run with them, just kind of toss them. It's just insane the amount of freedom you get. I mean, I keep saying that, but I mean, it's just so much to do. And it's you have a lot of power-ups that go around. Uh, little globes and orbs, you guys have seen me picking them up along the way. Uh, those give you EP points which are used to unlock your powers uh, and aside from unlocking powers uh, you can upgrade existing powers there's one actually there's one right there you pick these globes up you earn EP points helps you upgrade your your powers or buy new powers and I want to show you guys the power menu I mean the combat how many show you guys the combat as well I mean you do flying jump kicks I mean it's Look how many things are on screen at once. There's just so much going on at the same time. And you don't hardly ever get any lag. According to the reviews, they said you get a lot of stutter. I haven't seen hiccups yet. I mean, very few and far between. Uh, I'm going to go into the powers menu so you guys can see how that works. You have a map of the city, of course. Uh, kind of set landmarks and set destinations. And then you have your upgrades menu. Here you can see all the powers you have. Powers are separated by combat, survivability, disguise, vehicle, or regular powers. Uh, I mean, there's so much to do and so much to get into. I wish I had more time to get into it. Uh, there is no online, but the game itself is just so much to do and the story is great. And I just love flying around and just killing people. I'm going to have to give this game my highest review so far. I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 9.6. And I know it seems pretty high, but that's what I feel, and you guys will love it. So go ahead and pick it up. Follow me on the Twitter, rate, subscribe, and comment, guys. Thanks a lot. Take care.